Hey, Christopher Seven. Uh, I want to just talk about your point about how you, the Bible was written by people, and it was. I mean, how do you explain if the, if it was the Word of God and there's all these different books of so the Word of God? There's the uh, the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran, and there's the three words of God. Uh, how how can there be three words of God? How could there be three different versions of the, of the Word of God? That that could only just prove that there has been different people writing about what they think. And if you think about it, I mean, all the different, like all the Judeo-Christian religions, are always sort of they always find flaws with the other religions. Uh, you, like you never see uh, like a Hinduist Hinduist going. Hindu going, um, you are not you're not following the right religion. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, like you only see the Judeo-Christian religions, and those are the people who take the Bible and pervert it for their own means. Uh, they take the Bible, the Torah, or the uh, or the Quran. But there's other people who their faith is their way of their faith is. A driving force behind them, and they interpret the Bible that way. Uh, there's been pe many people throughout, like that, who have used their religion as a way of making a point, a good point. And I mean, uh, the other, like, the Quran says that it it, it sort of. But in the Quran, there's a part of the Quran I read in uh, one of my classes in college where they said, uh, basically, the, there's a part in the Quran where it says the uh, Christians had a, cha a chance at being the chosen people of God. They fucked it up. Uh, Jews, had the, Jews had a chance, and they fucked it up. And then there was the... Uh, then there's the Quran who they say they're going to have their own chance at being the third, the third chosen people, and I mean, if that's not sort of writing a book by people, and I'm not saying that any, I'm not saying the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, or any are any bad things. I think it's the preconceptions you bring to reading the Bible that oh, sort of skew your your thinking. I, I don't think faith is all that bad uh, if if you don't take the teachings as literal as these things actually happened I think that's good but if you take away thematically what they, they say in a religious book and you take that and use that as a template for your life that is a very good thing to do but most people who are really Christian as far as I've seen are people who are really sort of they use the book for their own means <laughs> or else they they condemn people and I just I don't think that's what religion should do I mean that's I mean people say that Muslim people are bad and they say that like they use that as a bad ex like they use that as an example it's like they use 9/11 to say that Muslim people are not a bad, are not a good people. But I mean, that's just that's using a broad stroke to sort of cover that. And I mean, you got to think about who's writing the thing. And people say, and and to take your point, that saying there's proof that Jesus. You talking about how people say that there's proof that Jesus existed? Uh, maybe there is. Maybe there was. Uh, there may be a chance he actually did exist or that there were many people that sort of embodied the things that they made Christ into but I mean <sighs> it's all really like it's gotta be you gotta take I like when I have kids I'm not gonna force one religion on them I, I'm not even gonna force religion on them I'm just gonna say I'm gonna give them backgrounds on the religion not just not teach them anything. I'm going to take uh, pillars from each thing that I find that are sort of 
uh, mimicking my thing and then my that sort of mimic my views and how I think people should use religion and then teach them to that then teach them that but I mean yeah there's been and all I'm gonna say is that there's been good religious people and bad religious people there's been bad atheist people there's been good atheist people there's been there's there's been good people and bad people in every sort of facet of life you can't broad broadly stroke them the group with one big brush and just to get to the original point the bible is not the word of god it's the word of man <laughs> all religious books are written by man they can't be written by god or they're not heard for, they could be maybe there's no God to actually speak down and tell you. Uh, I, there's there's no invisible man who's gonna tell you what should happen. You're just gonna use your words to think of, to put the, to project what you think people are gonna want to hear, or to try and to rule them. That's what religion usually does. It does it usually rules people's lives. Uh, uh, I mean. People usually believe that their religion's the best, and that's not the best thing. Well, uh, globalization needs to happen, and that's all I really got to say. So, uh, I may have gotten off topic and may have sort of turned this into my own rant video, but uh, I sort of do agree with you, Christopher Seven, that religion is bad parts of it are bad, I'm going to say. Parts of it, religion are bad. Some parts aren't. I'm not even religious. I don't believe in one thing or the other. <laughs> I'm not I'm not atheist. I'm not anything. I don't believe in any kind of shit. I'm just waiting and seeing. I'm a wait and see kind of dude. I, I like to see what happens. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Alright. I guess that's it. Uh, peace out, guys.